One Law of Wholeness, May 21st. The lawn got mowed, it's looking nice. It wasn't with a size, but she left me a slice. Okay, so I can mold this with the scythe. So let me sing it right now, these are no words I write. I stayed up for many nights. Used to be living with fright, no longer living with fear. Just let me put a few more things in all your ears, all right? So one love, wholeness, May 21st, everything's popping off, let's go. We got the rope for deer protection. I showed in the last video, it's doing great. We got the Vermont Unknown 1 garlic, doing the best. Vermont Unknown number two coming in second. Catterman coming in third. Then it's the Hadley garlic. Then it goes to Spanish Roja. And then the Vietnamese checking in last. Overall, they're all doing great though. What's that? Potatoes? Yep. Four different varieties, all coming up nice. What's that? Jericho lettuce, red oak leaf lettuce, black simsim, black seed simsim lettuce, all looking great. What's that? Strawberries? Putting on flowers, and after the flower comes the fruit. We got parsnips checking in, Abenaki flint corn, Tom's popcorn and a sweet corn blue sweet corn i believe i lost my roll but yeah so uh that's what's going on potatoes are coming up nice carrots yo this is cool check this out this little guy that's a self-sown potato from last year somehow overwintered and I didn't plant this and that's coming up I did plant that one but not this one these are all carrots seeded them way too close together but we'll see what happens this is cilantro self seeded from last season so that's cool very far ahead looking nice and then yeah hopefully the onions pop up I don't know it doesn't seem like they're doing too good we got a white daikon radish checking in. Um, I'm really just happy about how this lettuce looks. It's looking on puzzoint. And then I harvested my first uh, salad. We got uh, pole beans. I'm not pole. I'm sorry. Bush beans coming up right here, down this whole row. It was very hot last week and this week. So the tot soy Asian greens are going to a flower, um, going to seed, but they flower first and then after the flower comes the seed. So I'm gonna get my seed back from this uh, tot soy and this Mizuna Asian greens, but they're actually, uh, just put my clippers back in the car. I didn't plan on making this video, but I just, uh, was like, yo, you should do it right now. So Mizuna Asian greens, really good even at this stage so those are the ones that are going to this beautiful little yellow flower gonna get my seed back off that as well so there's tot soy a uh, mizuna asian greens and then arugula off on the side beets are looking nice this self-sown lettuce that i did not plant literally looks the best and that's uh that's gonna gonna get a full head out of those planted flowers here more lettuce is gonna be coming up and the radishes, oh, you can't really see it too good. The radishes are coming in good. I just, I tried the first one uh, yesterday. This radish right here, it's my new favorite. It's called Purple Plum. Um, and it's a purple radish. Maybe in the next video, I'll uh, harvest one and eat one. Show you how good it tastes, but uh, not today. So, one thing I just noticed before I started taking this video, the slugs and the snails, they're only eating the tot soy, the arugula, and the green wave mustard greens. I've went over this before, but this is, uh, this is wasab wasabina, and these are the green wave mustard greens. Very spicy. If you get a chance to try them, try them. 
they grow on you. It's really good. Looking for a kick from a green, I never would have known. This is uh, going to be another, um, what's it called? Green Wave Mustard Greens mix. Sorry about the mower. Uh, the homie's doing his thing across the way. And uh, yeah, there's actually a nice patch of uh, aster flowers out there that uh, the owner of the land left. It's looking nice. Um, and then we got the mounds that are soon to be planted with squash and pumpkin. We got nine mounds checking in. Sorry I'm going really fast, but uh, I'm just trying to make it a short one. And there's a lot to go over. We got two eggplants, pepper plant not doing so hot, and the, uh, the tomato plants. They're getting fried out here every day. And a ground cherry. Um, but I have faith. This is going to look completely different in a month. Um, there's going to be tomato plants here. You can't even really see them. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess I'll just wrap, wrap it up. I just planted some cannabis seeds. So that's cool. I'm a little late. But uh, I just wanted to get them in the ground. Because last year I didn't even get any flower. It ended up uh, hermaphroditing. But um, when they hermied out and like went to flower and seed, or I guess they went to seed, you know what a, maybe you don't know what a hermaphrodite is, but it basically it's a, it's a female cannabis plant that like goes male and starts to give out seed. But then it also goes to a flower and it was just covered in bees. I'm, pointing right here because that's where the plant was covered in bees head to toe so oh, I just choked on a black fly even if I don't get any uh, flower from the plants they're just nice to have in the garden for the smell and there will still be uh, THC in the leaves that I uh, can make some medicinals with so one love much love wholeness that's how we're doing it. Stuff is growing in the garden, I'm pursuing it. So rip rocking it, I'm never stopping it. It's all for the tops of a brand new philosophy. What could it be? It's all to the people getting together to live in the unity. Who is he? That's a double JC. I spit it so fantastically. Yep, so one more time. Wholeness, one love for the rhyme. We out to the next one.